Okay, so, hello class. We are going to discuss today the slides for uh, liver as well as one slide for the gallbladder. 1A3, liver cirrhosis. 130, gallbladder carcinoma. 124, hepatocellular carcinoma. As well as 169, that's hepatocellular carcinoma. So this is our first slide. That's slide 1A3. This is liver cirrhosis. Okay? So liver cirrhosis is characterized by what? The presence of nodular aggregates of hepatocytes that are separated by fibrotic stroma. Okay? So this is a, a generic liver cirrhosis. Uh, but one thing that would make this very uh, unique to the other slide is the presence of bile lakes. This, these are what we call as the cholestasis or stasis of the bile within the bile ductule. Okay. So we go to the higher magnification. Let's start first with what we would see with hepatocytes. So this is a, this is a nodular formation of hepatocytes, regenerating hepatocytes. Look at the higher power magnification. What do we see? The presence of bilirubin pigments within the hepatocytes. And then we also would see the presence of dilated bile, uh, bile canaliculi. So this would be dilated bile canaliculi that would contain bile, bile okay, or bilirubin. So now we go to the portal, portal areas. So these are bile ductules that are filled with bile. So we call it as bile lakes and we call it as cholestasis. Okay, so if we would see a lot of bile lakes, we call it as cholestasis. So next we have slide 130. This is gallbladder carcinoma. Okay. So gallbladder carcinoma, it's an uncommon malignancy. And usually we have it as an incidental finding when patients would go for a chronic cholecystitis and go for cholecystectomy. So, most common form would be adenocarcinoma. In 95% of cases, we would see the presence of gallstones. So, there's uh, atypical glands that are formed. They are lined by uh, cells that would possess pleomorphism of the nuclei prominence of the nucleolus okay. and there are two patterns of growth so one is exophytic it means that for example this is the area of the mucosa it would form a polyp or a pedunculated mass on the other hand there's the infiltra infiltrative or infiltrating pattern which is the form of pattern that we would see in this case so you can identify the presence of a typical glands that are seen infiltrating or invading into the fibromuscular stroma. So you can see the presence of the cells to have a pleomorphism, prominence of the nucleoli. So they are seen infiltrating into the stroma. Okay. So next we have the hepatocellular carcinoma slides. So hepatocellular carcinoma is the most common primary malignant tumor of the liver. It has several risk factors. We have hepatocellular. Uh, we have hepatitis B, hepatitis C, viruses. We have alcoholism and its counterpart, the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. 
exposure to aflatoxin which is formed by aspergillus uh, when we have uh, peanuts that are uh, uh, which are decomposing and then we also have metallic poisoning or metallic toxicity such as hemosiderosis or hemochromatosis and Wilson's disease that would be for copper alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency so what we see in the slide would be the presence of the atypical cells that are still forming trabecular sheets okay so uh, this one would be the sinusoid and the other area sinusoid but look at the uh, thickness of the trabecular sheet usually the each trabecular sheet in the normal hepatocyte uh, architecture or hepatic architecture we have around up to three hepatocytes but this time if you're going to uh, subjectively count it it would be more than three if you go to the other side okay you have a very thick trabecular plate or trabecular sheet aside from that we would see the presence of variation in the size of the of the nuclei okay so very prominent in this particular slide would be the thickness of the liver plates so uh, with regards to mutations we have p53 seen in 60 percent of cases and beta catenin in 40 percent of cases and the tumor marker that we use for this would be alpha fetoprotein okay so again your marker here would be the thickness of the trabecular sheet okay very thick more than three liver cell plates and then you also have presence of pleomorphism and hyperchromaticity okay. our last slide is the same hepatocellular carcinoma we will just look at the appearance okay this one is more or less similar with the cirrhosis okay uh, one thing that you have to look for would be the variation in the size of the nuclei and this one is a mitotic figure okay another one uh, the, the thickness would not be uh, it's not that evident okay it can be more than three uh, hepatocytes per liver plate but in some areas it's not very thick but very prominent here would be the presence of mitotic figures Okay, so once you see mitotic figures, once you would see the presence of uh, nuclear pleomorphism, then you would think of hepatocellular carcinoma. Okay, so those are the things that you have to look for. This one is another mitotic figure. So there's a lot of mitotic figures in this particular slide. And another thing is this one. You would see the presence of a rosette or um, tubular formation, which is not uh, usual. It's not normally seen in the lobular architecture of the, uh, of the liver. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. Uh, so stay safe, guys, and good night.